Hey, 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 hey. Um, quick video. We're just gonna share a um, Schwinn Traveler. Um, this is a bike that I've had for a couple years now. I bought it, just got a good deal on it. I didn't need it. Um, I am not gonna buy any more of these bikes that are more of the medium quality. I'm done buying these kind of bikes. Um, actually, when I got this one, and because of the size of the frame was really the only thing I was after. I was after this size of frame. And um, just because, honestly, it's hard to find my size frame because a lot of people ride my size frame. And also, I tend to like a size frame just a t one size taller or two size taller than what I'm supposed to ride, I guess you could say, as a bike fitment. What is a bike fitment? Like, what I'm about to show you, you're going to be like, yeah, what did he do? Uh, I've made my bike into a Dutch-style bike, and this thing coasts extremely fast, goes up hills just great. Um, yeah, let's get into the bike check, uh, the up and close, and show you guys real quick. Hope everybody's doing okay and well. Uh, I've been in the workshop trying to get some things uh, straightened out. Um, I'm going to be doing a few things this evening. So I thought I'd be out here. I thought I'd share this real quick. Um, we got a Schwinn Traveler. So you can hear the tube a little bit. Schwinn Traveler and not nothing super fancy again like I said I I'm done buying any of these cheapy cheap bikes kind of thing um, not to call this anything bad actually this is a great starter bike um, but so let's up and close here so see some of the parts here a three by this is from another vintage bike I am storing this bike up for winter I'm taking this off I'm taking the front basket off. This will probably go onto another bike. I'll put the original two by back on here. I loan this bike out to a friend during summertime. When he rides it, he doesn't never shift the gears and he don't really like the gears being down here on the down tube. So I'm gonna put gears up there on the top of the handlebars, uh, shift levers I mean. These will come off for another project. Um, let's go back here real quick. The derailleur the Sun Tour. This is kind of a odd, kind of old style uh, derailleur, six speed back here. Um, so what I was saying just a minute ago, this bike never was really ever rained on. It's still got this, look at that, it's still got the tag saying Schwinn Giant on there. This bike was very well taken care of, and they just they just never rode it. To be honest, that's probably why it's so, so in so good a shape still. Um, I painted the wheels. The wheels are 27 inch wheels, not 700 C. The spokes were kind of tarnished a little bit, so I just wanted it to be a little bit more, just a little more nice looking, I guess you could say. Uh, the tire changed them up. So you can see what I got going on with the tire here. I was trying to make this bike basically something that will last for a really long time. Um, build it up, new cables, new grease, new everything, build it up. And then it can ride it whenever. And just as long as it stays up out the elements, it will always be a very nice bike to ride. Diacompi 500 series with the uh, quick release. Some older vintage stuff. I left the reflector on there. I have a seat charm. Some of you might know what that is. That's a seat charm right there. You gotta know what seat charms are. If you're in bicycle stuff. Uh, seat, a bell seat. This is fair. It ain't too bad. Um, up here to the cockpit. Um... Let's check the head badge out real quick. It's nice and clean. Really clean. Almost too darn 
like it just came out the box don't it look like that <laughs> um yep it's really nice here um the fork has like a a little w thing on the wheel that attaches the fork it's like a safety feature uh quick release on the front uh the fork here so you can see that i'd like to see this stuff kind of close a lot of people don't show you this stuff very close so you never get to see the stuff very close do you well here's a video where you can see some of this stuff up close um so this bike the 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 toe distance is nice you don't have to worry about hitting your toe like on a more like a racing style bike of these vintage years um then last but not least there we go the chrome ollie 4130 main tube there we go just thought i'd show this share this bike off real quick uh yeah in my dutch style of riding here the seat's a little bit low i usually have my seat up a little bit more than that just this is how my buddy was riding like what i was saying about a lot of people like to put their feet down flat when they're on the seat they want to be able to when they stop just be able to take their foot off the pedal and have their foot flat i'm more of a person that likes to jump up on the saddle and ride like that and then when i stop i have to jump off the saddle or just be tiptoed um that's kind of that's my style of how i like to ride everybody has their own thing and way and then with the with the upright bars you always sit upright even when you're on the pedals pedaling you're still all the way upright it's it's a very pleasurable thing to not have to bend to not have to bend way up here to grab um i am taking this basket i have a uh planet bike little lights on there but yeah it's just getting about to get stored up for winter and i'm gonna change a couple things just thought i'd show it i might share another video once i get the stock the stock crank back on and um just kind of go over it again i guess i really like it um but yeah a good starter bike I have many bikes, so it's not like I'm not going to ride this thing a whole lot. I have my main bikes that I ride, but um, yeah, I got some more bike stuff to share. Um, I might get the uh, the double stack tall bike in here and kind of go over it and show it off a little bit. Um, but uh, like, subscribe, comment, share. I'm gonna get out of here, get a little busy. Um, we will catch you guys in the next video. Um, you guys got any comments or anything, you can uh, hit me up and I will uh, get right back to you. See you guys.